<laughs> I still just can't believe you're in my kitchen. I can't believe I'm in your kitchen. It's so awesome. I'm glad the feeling is mutual. Oh, yeah. This is a really special moment for me. I have Gigi Gorgeous in my kitchen. I don't know how you got here, but I'm so grateful. <laughs> I slid in your DMs super creepy <laughs> after watching so much Desperate Housewives oh. and just falling in love with you. So oh. I was like, I see she does this cooking show. Let me just ask her like, if I can learn how to cook from her. I have no idea what I'm doing in the kitchen. Well, you're in the right place, hon. Thanks I'm for excited. Having me over. I'm excited for you to be here. So when I knew that Gigi was coming, I wanted to know what she wanted to cook. Your fiance is gluten free. Free, right? Free. So I wanted to take that into consideration. And you have friends that are vegans. Yes, my best friend who's here is vegan. Okay, so that was important to me. And then basically she said that you eat everything, but in general you're healthy, which to me is kind of what my show Don't Eat It Out of a Box is all about. It, trying to eat healthy foods and teach you that you can cook them too. I uh, don't know how to cook. I never cook. And I'm happy that you can okay. teach me today. <laughs> well, have you ever chopped an onion? Or? Yes, I love okay, chopping. Okay, so you've done stuff like that. Yeah, you, I can you, chop. You're not going to chop your fingers off nope, here or anything nope, like that. Okay, nope, nope. I'm good. All right, so this first thing that we're gonna make together, which I'm really excited about, and I mean, I'm telling you, it's healthy, it's delicious, it's gluten-free. I mean, honestly, you could make it, you could put it in your freezer so that you could just heat it and eat it up. This is great. So what it is, is turkey meatballs that are stuffed with goat cheese in a roasted tomato sauce. We are gonna serve that instead of over pasta, over kale strips that are sort of mimicking the pasta. So the first thing we're gonna do is roast these tomatoes. Now, the thing about my tomato sauce okay. is it's pretty labor-intensive because the best tomato sauces, you want them to simmer on the back of your stove like all day long. Okay. And that's how all that flavor Like a pulled gets. pork. Yes, like a pulled <laughs> pork, exactly. I mean, that is how the longer, the slower you're cooking something, it gets a deeper, deeper sense of flavor. We don't have hours and hours and hours, but we're gonna do our best to make this sauce. But in general, if you were at your house on your own time, you could finish a bottle of wine while you're waiting for this Perfect. to simmer. And the great thing about this is I make a lot of it so that I can keep it in my freezer and then I just have so it, so helpful. I'm not making it all the time. But the yeah. first step is roasting the tomatoes, and that's what takes the longest amount of time. These are gonna be roasting in the oven for probably about an hour at least, at like 400. They don't burn though? They don't, oh. they don't. You you want them to get that a little bit of that sort of charred, because what's happening is the sugar in them is caramelizing, mm -hmm. and that's what kind of creates all that great flavor. Okay. And that's why I just don't take raw tomatoes and put them in my tomato sauce, because they would cook down down, but they won't get that same taste caramely. and texture. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so these are tomatoes on the vine. Okay, are we chopping? Because I haven't washed my hands yet. Oh, yes. I'm gonna wash, wash my hands. hands. Go over there quick. and wash your hands. BRB. BRB? What is that? Be right back. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, I'm, look at all I'm gonna learn. <laughs> BRB. Okay, BRB. That's funny. I'm gonna have to practice BRB. BRB. <laughs> so we aren't really gonna take a ton of time chopping. I'll, okay. I'll do one and then you can do the rest. We're do just you like kinda, dice it? No, we're not even gonna do that because these are just gonna roast and then they're gonna be almost oh. blended down in the sauce, so it doesn't really matter. Because they get like mushy, right, once yeah. they're in the oven for so long? So just take the knife and yep. sort of cut the bigger ones into fours. You don't even have to do um, that to the little ones. If um, I cut my finger, would you die? Well, I wouldn't die, but I do want you to pay attention to what you're doing because okay. I don't want you to cut your finger because that would be bad and that the knives are awful. sharp. And if this is ever, a very sharp it knife. It is a sharp knife. So, so just like that? Yep, just like that. Okay, it's perfect. Cool. So these are a combination of some tomatoes on the vine, some heirloom tomatoes, heirloom cherry tomatoes, just giving us a lot of different flavors. And then we're just gonna pour um, some olive oil over this. And then if you wanna sprinkle that with salt, and I would say like, you know, a, a pinch of it. I love salt. Uh, oh yeah, I love salt too. I love it. A little bit more. I love that you're doing it high. Is yeah, that good? No, that's good. So I'm, My technique I'm, is on I'm point. I'm thinking you do know something I'm, about <laughs> cooking. Yeah, I'm not. You're maybe not telling me the truth. Um, okay, and same amount of pepper. This is gonna go in the oven at 400 for like an hour. While our tomatoes are getting roasted, we're gonna chop up half of an onion. I hope my lashes don't fall off from crying. Oh, I don't think they will. They <laughs> won't. I, I won't let that happen to you. So have you ever learned like the proper way to chop an onion? Definitely not. Okay. So but I've done it before. Okay. I usually like do like a this, like okay. an angle. I'm gonna show you better. Okay, okay. You put your hand flat on the top. Okay. And oh, then from the side. Yeah, and then you're gonna slice it, but not all the way through. So you see how I'm leaving this attached? That's yep. important. Then I'm gonna do another level, and I probably can even get one more level here. Okay. Then I turn it to me, and now I'm gonna slice it this way. Okay. But I'm still not gonna go all the way to the end. And you kind of do an angle like towards the middle or straight down? Um, just sort of straight down. Um, I've never 
seen this way. Yeah, this is a very chefy chef way. I love that. Onion. I'd be scared I'd like slice my hand though. That's why you hold it flat on the top like that because if you hold it like this, there's a chance. You could, yeah. Got so it. you just hold it flat because the knife is going through this way. You're not actually at risk really of nicking your hand. Got it. But so what's fun now is now when you slice it down. It's already diced. It's already diced. I love that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I'm totally gonna do that. Okay, and then do you know about this claw thing? Yeah, so you don't chop off a finger? Yeah. Well, when I used to have acrylics, it would kind of be like a guard whenever I'd be asked to, to like chop. Uh -huh. Like I'm not chopping off a finger, I'd have all this acrylic nail. Right, or that. But now? But now not so much. Why, why did you uh, take them off? I wanted to let my nails grow a little bit. I've been like so hard on them over the years. Okay. So I just feel like it needs to breathe, it needs a moment. Yeah. But I still do gel. I like pick at them sometimes and it chips. Yeah, I can like, never, I finally give up. I do too much with my hands. I can only imagine, yeah. I, I just, it's like, yeah, I give up. Right, just like a good lotion at the <laughs> I, end of the day. That's, it, that's the exchange we're gonna have to do. Like you're here, I'm teaching you to cook. I'm gonna have to go to your place and you're gonna have to teach me like how to be a little more glamorous. Than I am so, actually I, in my closet, I have like two vanity mirrors set up with like so much makeup. I get sent so much makeup, so it's all like sitting at the side untouched. That sounds really fun. It would be, Amazing. You totally I have to come over. Because something that happens, I mean, I don't know, like, I don't know if you, I'm 53 years old. I don't know if you know that. I mean, there's a lot of women in our business that are aging very well. And I mean, I think I'm aging well. Yes, absolutely. But, but I think I have lost in my own personal life, like a little bit of the... Like the glamour of it all? Yeah. Like the just, you know, the why get dressed up and go out. Like mm -hmm. I'm sort of just it's like a, maybe comfortable. Yeah, I'm a little I too comfortable. I feel like that sometimes too. You know, I think there's a balance that I'm missing. I think I I maybe need some help getting my glam back on. I am here for a you. A little bit. Okay, I'm. I am here for you. Uh, you heard it. She's here for me. <laughs> Do you mind um, putting those in there? Not at all. And I'm gonna get some oil. We're gonna use grapeseed oil. Do you have ideas about oil or nope. not? Okay, nope. so I just use um, extra virgin olive oil. You use a lot of that. I think so. Yeah, I think that's I think good. That's what we have. I mean, I love that. The only thing about olive oil is it doesn't do particularly well at high heats. Grapeseed oil and avocado oil are really good high heats. So like if you're sauteing vegetables, olive oil is better for finishing on salad or okay. if you're putting it on top of a cooked broccoli at the end or like avocado toast or something like that. People still cook with it and I yeah. still cook with it too. It's just in general, it's not the greatest high heat. So okay. you might look into avocado oil. Okay, cool. Because that's also really healthy. So we're going to put a little bit of salt on there just to help them sweat. And we're gonna put this over here and those are gonna to start to saute on sort of a medium high heat. So our tomatoes are roasting, our onions are sauteing. Yep, I love that they're ours. Our they are, tomato, they're totally our ours. onions. They're I ours. love that. For the rest of our sauce, we can get the pan and we can start to put this stuff in the pan and then we'll have our roasted tomatoes when they're done. And then we can get that simmering and then we'll move on to the turkey meatball. Cool. All right, so we've got our tomatoes in because they take the longest. The next thing that takes the longest is we are gonna roast an entire, not a clove. I was gonna say loaf. A flour. It's a, a flour. flour. It's a garlic flour. You were saying that your dad did this? Yeah, my dad told me if I ever want to like put it, like have something really yummy to spread on bread. Yes. That you cut off the top, cut off the bottom, put it in the oven, and then like after like so much amount of time, you just squeeze it out and it's like a paste. Right. And well, I love garlic. Like yes. whenever we cook anything, I'm like, just add like six cloves. I'm a big garlic fan too. And basically we're gonna do it a little bit differently, but that's almost exactly what we're do what we're doing. I love your dad. It's my first time. Yeah. I love your dad. I mean, I could text um, him. One of the things I've always done with that too, I don't know if your dad did this, but I would use that if I felt like I was getting sick. So yes, great to spread it on bread, but if you feel like you're getting sick, just take one clove and squeeze it into your mouth and kind of just let it like don't sort swallow of, it fully. Yeah, just sort of let it like sit down your throat and I'm telling you, it helps you not get colds. I've never heard this. Yeah, and the because it's cooked, people are always so afraid of smelling like garlic. Right. That's really raw garlic. Right. That, I like that, the smell. That has that. But the cooked garlic doesn't have that same thing. It's actually really soothing. Cut off the top like your dad did. Yep. Um, I don't cut the bottom off. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. We are gonna squeeze it out that way. And okay. I don't know, for all I know, he's right. Like, maybe <laughs> it is easier to do it that way. But we're gonna just put the top back on. Then I wrap. Oh, you put the top back on? I do. Cute. I put the top back on with like a little pumpkin. Like a little hat. Yeah, like a little hat. And I'm gonna put that in foil. And then that is going in the oven at 400 with the tomatoes and roasting for probably an hour. I can't wait to see the paste that comes out of it. Okay, so now it's time to start to compile our sauce. Okay. So we're gonna do that in a pan. Put that over there. Okay. So, uh... <laughs> 
chuck in. Wait, let me chuck too. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to use three boxes, and you can use canned tomatoes, but I like this one, it's organic. Yeah, just kind of get it shaken up, and then if you wanna use the scissors, that's pretty easy. Yeah. It reminds me of those um, freezies that you used to put in the freezer. Oh and yeah. Cut off and yeah, scoop yeah, and up. squeeze up. So we're doing three boxes or cans of crushed tomatoes. So we're gonna do, oh! No, oh. false alarm. Okay. False alarm. She scared the shit out of me. I felt it spray. <laughs> Not that it would matter. So you can take a spoon. And get all this out? Yeah, so that's one small can of tomato paste. Well, I can't believe that I wore a white top. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> can I eat this without yes, it you being can totally. cooked? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with tomatoes. It's probably good. Mm. Do you need that? Nope, I think okay. I'm all good. Okay, all right. You know what? I'd be more pissed if I got my extensions. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Okay. And then we're going to do about a tablespoon of capers. Love capers. I love capers too. Oh, I'm so glad you like, you like everything I like. Yeah, I'm very um, easy to please when it comes to food. Just give me something to eat. Okay, salt, pepper. Is we're that like eat. equal ratios you just did? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. We're gonna, and we, we're going to do it to taste later after it's been simmered. We're going to put a, <gasps> a cup of wine. And what I will say about wine, do you like red wine? I don't. I like white wine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I like it cold. You just I like, like an I like drinks a crisp. when they're cold. Yeah. Yeah. I love that too. Very Especially cold. in LA, it's just so damn hot all the time. Yeah. Even with white wine too, if you're cooking with that, which I cook with that a lot also. I never cook with wine that I wouldn't be drinking. You know how some people buy cheap wine for food? For food. Got or it. like wine that's kind of gone bad because yeah. it's been open. Because the they alcohol think they cooks cook out, it. right? The alcohol does cook out, but the flavor while you're putting it in it in the first place, if you wouldn't like the taste of it, if you were drinking it, then you're not gonna like whatever sense, it's doing right? to your food. There's the onions that we caramelized. They look so yummy. They do look yummy. Oh, I love the color. Right? Oh my um, god, they smell so good. Oh yay, I love that. Oh, they I smell great. I love that. So the trick is to really take your time with them, to do them on a medium low heat and go ahead and take a half an hour to get that really lovely brown color to come out slowly. Like a medium low? Medium low heat. heat. Okay, uh -huh. got it. Now uh, we're gonna get our tomatoes out. They look um, so good. They look amazing. Wow. Oh my God, those look at that. so much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah. And Should I like just scrape them down? Oh yeah, like you can this? do that, sure. As long as you don't get on my top. Okay, yeah, please, please. <laughs> it's like happened. a facial right now It is, on. right? It's a tomato the facial. Um, but this is how that sugar all caramelizes and that's what it turns into. You get this wonderful depth of flavor that you wouldn't get by just sticking them in there raw. Yeah. And then the last thing we have is that garlic flour. The paste, I we're can't gonna, wait to see how it looks. My dad's that. gonna be so happy when he sees this. <laughs> Ooh, it uh, smells amazing. See how even that kind of caramelized, you see all oh, that? Oh yeah. All that? That looks delicious. Um, isn't that nice? Oh, the smell. Isn't it great? I love it. Yes. Okay, so you probably don't want the gloves on. Is it really Try hot? It is pretty hot, but just be. Oh, really? How are you doing that? See, I'm getting I'm getting it. So, oh my God, yeah. And you, so you're sort of, that's why I like having the bottom because I'm sort of grabbing from the bottom and just trying to. Looks like a banana. It does kind like of the look like a banana. Yummy. Oh, can't Oops. wait to eat this. So how long was that in there? An hour, hour an and a half? Hour, wow, a for hour. all that? Hell yeah. Other than like cutting it and dicing it, I'd rather much, much rather have the paste. Want a little bit? Sure. <laughs> good, right? Yes. So good. Yeah. Oh. Um, and I just think, mm. I just think roasted garlic has a totally different flavor than sauteed garlic. Mm. And it's so, it's, I could literally eat that by the spoon. Yeah, no, I know. And it's so good for you. Those are all the ingredients in the sauce. This is gonna go on the back burner on low on simmer and we're just gonna have it cooking as long as we can. So like I'm ideally gonna, how long would you say? Like in a perfect world? In a perfect world, I would say two to three hours. Okay. Like, so I would do it at the beginning of the day or the middle of the day and then do other things and then come back and have Dinner. Like for dinner, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Good to know. So you would make more than this normally? I would make probably two trays of the roasted tomatoes oh, wow. and maybe two whole pots because you can see it's kind of an ordeal. Of course, yeah, it's a moment. You know, it's yeah. a bit of an ordeal. Yeah. And so you might, if you're making one pot, you might as well make two pots. Right. And I usually freeze it in um, like serving size containers. Like a Tupperware moment? Yeah. Okay. And so like maybe only one cup or two cups in each thing. Mm -hmm. And that way you're not defrosting the whole thing every time you want to use it. Just like little you, serving size yes. dinner, yeah. lunch, snack yeah. meals. Yes. We're going to uh, clean this up a little bit. Okay. Have I'm a little take these sip off. of champagne. Oh yeah. And then we're going to start our um, meatballs. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> We're now moving on to the turkey meatballs. So what I've got here is dark meat ground turkey and white meat ground turkey. You know, white meat is has less fat, 
Dark meat has more fat. I like the combination. I don't know, when you eat Thanksgiving turkey, what part do you eat? The one without a bone. Oh, yeah, breast. Yeah, yeah breast. breast. Or thigh. Oh, see, thigh would be the dark meat, breast would be the white meat. Oh. And I think the dark meat is just usually, because of the fat, it's just juicier and yummier. So I thought it would be fun to mix them. Now, when we're talking about the gluten-free thing, I'm gonna do with some panko breadcrumbs, which are wheat flour, so that would make them not gluten-free. Gigi is gonna do without breadcrumbs. What we don't have here that I would recommend if you're trying it at home, but we're gonna see how it works without it, and maybe it'll be great. I would think that you could add one or two tablespoons of rice flour to, to this. To substitute for it? To substitute for the breadcrumbs. Okay. And it might, that might create an interesting like binder. We don't have that here, so. try it out. Yeah, so we're gonna do it without, which is probably gonna be good anyway. I'm gonna give you half of this. Okay. And I'm gonna take half. Can't wait to get my hands dirty. Okay, we're both gonna crack one egg. Okay. This is about two ounces of goat cheese. Okay. And we're gonna each get an ounce. You're probably gonna be able to make about five meatballs with that. Oh wait, take it back out. Oh shit, sorry. No, it's okay. We're just gonna kind of dot it and it'll just give us a better shot of when we blend it all together of it. Cause it's kind thick. Of, yeah, we, and we sort of want it to end up all throughout in the meatballs instead of just all in one clump. But we're not gonna touch that cause we have turkey on oh, our hands. Shit. Okay, you Goat did. cheese hair. Um, very, I want to smell it. It's very subtle. No, it's fine, and, I love um, it. And I'll get it out as soon as <laughs> I get the raw turkey off my hands. Okay, I'm doing breadcrumbs. And now we're just gonna start um, blending that around. And you can use both hands or... Uh, Shit, I probably should've taken my rings off, huh? Too late now. Too late now. <laughs> I have mine on too. Okay, perfect. But I'm just using one hand. That is a gorgeous engagement ring, by the way. Thanks. Wow. Nats, thank that you. That is really that, gorgeous. Um, the inside is engraved too. And what does it say? She designs clothing and okay. her brand is named Strike Oil. Okay. After her grandfather. Okay. Um, basically like if you want something, go get it and strike oil with it. I love like, that. Like your passion. Okay. So on the inside of the engagement ring, it says, struck oil. Because she struck Aww. oil with me. Isn't that cute? I want somebody to <laughs> do that for me someday. Maybe, so sweet, maybe right? Maybe it's not too late. It's, uh, yeah, that's really, really sweet. I know, I died. Did she pick out the ring and surprise you It was you custom. Completely? Oh, yeah. Like, how did the whole proposal go? So, we were in Paris, and um, oh, this is like my favorite story of to tell. Of course you were. I know, right? I know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually annoying. It's actually annoying. How, how romantic and amazing yeah. this is. Okay, you were in Paris. It makes my skin crawl. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, I'm so. I'm getting little chills on I my know, spine. me too. Yeah, it made my yeah. back crawl. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna wait, just while you tell the story. Uh -huh. So mine is pretty mixed, and I'm gonna start to make um, meatballs while uh, she's- Yours isn't really sticking to your hands as much as mine is. That's probably because it has the breadcrumbs. Oh, Let me work on it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because this is a moment. I was making turkey burgers earlier, and I didn't use breadcrumbs in that, and it's just wetter. It's true that so it's So it's just gonna be faster with it's, it, or? It, you have to, I think, trust that when this goes in the pan, it is gonna stay together. Okay. So yours are gonna go on that side. On the right the, side. Yeah. Okay, great. But this is why I think if we had a tablespoon or so of rice flour, it, it would, makes the it most address, difference. Like your it your, would address your bowl and my bowl, it's yeah. like night and day. Yeah. So you're in Paris. I love this. Yes. Okay. So okay. we're we're in Paris, yeah. and um, everyone is there. All of our friends. It's a, our two year anniversary okay. when we like really met and started hanging out. Okay. Um, and she's like, I have a surprise photo shoot. I'm doing something for my brand. We're gonna like you know hang out. Everyone's gonna get ready. Everyone is in like the most gorgeous glam outfits I've ever seen. Okay. So I was like, something's going on. And then um, we're rushing. We have like two drivers. We're rushing to this like location. We get there. It's like, I'm not kidding. I thought I was in Fast and the Furious because <laughs> It was like the driving, because the sun was setting and we were taking a helicopter. Oh so we God. go to like this helicopter spot and I'm like, oh, this is the surprise, that's amazing. And then we're like doing a little tour of Paris when the sun's going down. It's so romantic already, but scary. Oh my God. And then- Why um, was it scary? Just it's being a in a helicopter. helicopter. Yeah. yeah. They're a little scary. They yeah. are, right? They, yeah. I just can't. So everyone was scared. And then um, I see this castle and it's like all lit up in pink. And I'm like, oh my God, I want to live there one day. Little did I know we're going to touch down there and like have dinner there and that's where she proposed. It was the Via Vicomte, the one that Versailles was built after. Oh my gosh. It was so romantic. Wow. Yeah, she does All right, not so disappoint. my future husband, uh, whatever your name is, when we get to that point in our relationship, you can just copy that. <laughs> Call Nats. Find Call out, Nats, exactly. Find out all the details. I don't mind Nats copying is gonna you. be very, I wish she was here right now. She would die if she heard you say that. I was able to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of mine. And I'm at five. Okay. Oh, you said five. We got the cheese out of your hair. Yeah. Our hands are clean. No more cheesy um, hair. So we are going to now brown these meatballs in here, and then we're gonna finish it in the oven at 350 degrees. The browning on the stove part is probably about 10 minutes. 
minutes and the finishing in the oven is probably about 10 minutes. But what's important is that you can take a meat thermometer and we wanna make sure that these meatballs are at 165. That's the safe temperature for turkey meat. Not something you wanna be going rare on like you could with beef. This pan is on a kind of a medium heat. We're gonna use that grapeseed oil again that I was telling you about because uh, it's a high heat oil. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to eat this. I mean, this isn't the quickest recipe, that's for sure. When you're talking and stuff, it just takes longer to, yeah. you know, if I was throwing this together for you and your fiance. Like in real life. Yeah, it yeah. wouldn't take me this long. Yeah, to, to it's the same with like makeup yeah. tutorials and stuff. Whenever right. I do like makeup, it's like, I got a lot like two hours. Right. Because and you usually can just put it, it all on yourself. Like in 30 tutorial. minutes. Okay. Oh, maybe that's what we should do, a makeup tutorial. Oh, I would love that. I mean, I think. I would love doing your makeup. That would be fun. That would be very fun. I need you to take me shopping. That's oh, I hell mean. yeah. I would love to go shopping with you. So we've got our turkey meatballs and they are browning and. They smell amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm dying um, already. And I thought um, we're going to go ahead and chop this kale. So I'm going to teach you how to do this and then you're going to start doing it. Okay. While I kind of turn those meatballs. Okay. Basically, this is a kale leaf. You were saying you've never seen kale no, before? No, I didn't know that it was. It looked like this or was this long. I've just seen it chopped up in like salads from right. Creation. Right, right. Oh, from learning. Creation, yeah. you like that place. I yeah. love that place. Yeah, no, kale is having a moment for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it has been for too. a while. It is good and it's really good for you. The part that, of kale that sometimes at stores they don't bother to get out of there, I don't know if you've seen this before, is the stalk and it's not good. Oh, you it's, have to cut that out. It's really tough. But what we want to do is we want to be mimicking spaghetti. We want to have the longest strip. So we're going to take the tip of our knife and try to come down as close as we can to the stock. Okay. All the way down in one slice. That's going to be our spaghetti. The whole one the side. Whole, yeah, the whole one side. And then oh, that's going to go on the that. plate there. Okay. And then you just go ahead and go down the other side of the stock. And there you go. We're going to sort of flash boil it for about four minutes in really salty water. And it's gonna mimic a noodle, that's perfect. Why don't you go ahead and keep working on this? Okay. I'm gonna go back and turn these, I don't know, do you wanna see that so you know what I'm doing? Maybe you do. Me? Yeah. Yeah. But that's perfect. You just did that perfectly. Yeah, this is fun. Yay. We've got yours on this side. And see how brown they're getting there? Oh, they look amazing. So we're gonna flip them over. Do you wanna flip them? Sure, I would love so, to. We're just trying to like gently flip them over, I think, but you can see they're they're staying together. Oh yeah. Maybe we don't need that rice flour. Maybe you just have to put up with that sort of messy stage when you're mixing it in the bowl. Which is fine if it all tastes amazing. Yeah. We're gonna let them brown on that side for a couple more minutes while we finish the kale. And then we're gonna put this whole pan right into the 350 degree oven. Amazing. Leave those for a couple minutes. Okay. And we'll I'll just continue. finish our kale. Do you ever bake? I do bake. Do you love I, baking or cooking more? You know, I, I like both. Do you ever watch The Great British Bake Off? No. Okay. Never I won, heard of it. I won that show. Oh my God, for, stop, for congrats. Charity. Just for charity. Was Just, it like Iron Chef? Like there were competitions every week? It's on Netflix. It's really one of my favorite shows. Oh it's, my God, uh, so you were a fan you before have, you got on it? Yes, I was a huge fan. That's it, so fun. And then sometimes, you know, they do those cooking shows with celebrities for charity. Yeah, like so Big this, Brother. Yeah, so this one was stand up, uh, stand up, to cancer was oh the, my God, the beneficiary. I'm, um, um, but that started, was all about baking. I just got baking. aligned with a, a breast cancer charity. Oh, cool. Because I lost my mom when I was 19. Oh, I'm and, sorry to hear that. Uh, no, it's fine. But yeah, it was, it was the first time that I had been able to really align with a charity that meant something to me because oh. there was a makeup company attached to it. Okay. I was like, this just makes sense. So tell, I mean, tell me about it. So what should we do to support it? How so it's called Crush it? XO. Crush Cancer, Crush Fear. They have a bunch of different charities that they align with. Okay. Yeah, they reached out and I, I tried their makeup and, you know, saw that they align with charities and all that. And I was like, this is amazing. So they, they said that I could create my own pink lipstick for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Great. And I named it after my mom, Judy. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, how, how so do we get it? It's online, crushxo.com. Okay. And like and the a proceeds, portion of the yep. proceeds go yep. to proceeds okay. go to um, keep a breast, which is a breast cancer charity and they are really about prevention. A lot of diagnoses are too late. Yeah, and, too late. People don't yeah, know, you know, yeah. people, people are not checking. Yeah. You know, I was just seeing my gynecologist and he was actually saying how sad it was that they're actually starting 
to put information out that's sort of telling you you don't need to go as often. Like if you're a certain age yeah. or it's not your family. Be, be, yeah, and, and he said it's, it's so not wrong. true. Judy, Judy, is Judy the lipstick, color yes. At Crush I picked the formula, the shade, the texture. I wish I brought you one. I'm totally getting it. I'm gonna, well, yeah. You can better, definitely, better definitely, definitely I, buy better it. Better I buy it and support the cause. Right, I'll, I, I'll send you I a lot. I can totally do that. You don't have to. I'll buy it. Okay. All right, so <laughs> I need that. Someone help me. These? Oh, yeah. Gigi can help me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. We're gonna put this in the oven. We've got the oven at 350. And is it drink time for you yet? And then it's gonna be drink time. We're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes. I'm surprised that that's all that that needs. Well, it that's had it? a pretty solid 10 minutes on there. Right. And then this is our water. It's boiling. Dump a little salt okay. in there. Okay, how much is like a little? Uh, like three pinches? Yes. Have you ever heard when you're making pasta, you're supposed to salt the water? I figured that out literally last week. Oh. I didn't know. I thought I'd already had the salt in it. So chefs would tell you you could literally like go Go like ham with it. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to come up to a boil. These are only going to take four minutes. Ooh. We're getting so close to being done. I'm ridiculous. so excited to eat. It's definitely time for champagne. We're going to get some champagne and then we're going to come back and finish it up. Let's pop a bottle. So we're having champagne because it's just that time of the day. And it's actually. the end of the day. It's yeah, 5 well, p.m. It's not really. The, yeah. It is 5 p.m. But it's not the end of our day. We have more cooking to do, girl. So you said that you drink like cases of this. Oh yeah, this is our favorite. So La Marca, yeah. if you're out there, okay. feel free to sponsor. Okay, that oh, would be yeah. fabulous. Okay. Both, both of us, sure, yeah, that yeah. goes for me too. I do love that actually. <laughs> oh, woo, that is woo. so exciting. Oh, That's wow. really It got exciting. really exciting. Cheers. <laughs> and look at these beautiful glasses, uh, so beautiful. Um, cheers. Cheers. Thank you for coming. <laughs> of course, thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, that is good, isn't it? Gigi was telling me that she eats McDonald's almost every day. I do, yeah. Or, like fast food I love fast food. And Postmates and then you is like my best friend. Uh, okay, and then you asked me if I ever eat. Ever, food. yeah, because I'm no. wondering. And I said no. Yeah, um, I don't know how you do without. And then I said, how do you do it? How do you eat McDonald's and drink cases of this and look like you do? And then we said good jeans. I think, you huh. know what, also, I feel like going out in really high heels and like walking around is like a workout. a lot of energy. Yeah, I think it's a workout. I think cooking is a lot. Of, I mean, yesterday, going to the grocery store, getting bags of, you saw my driveway, yep. like coming in with all the bags up and down the stairs. I do feel like we expend energy doing stuff. In other ways, sure. you don't have to be in the gym. But I don't eat fast food because I know what's in it. Yeah, um, garbage. Again, maybe it's age. I think you can get away with stuff when you're younger, I, I think for sure. I hear that all and, the time, but um, I'm like, I don't think it's ever really gonna go away. I hope you're Because fast right. food also just doesn't, like we were saying earlier, doesn't stick to you. It's like plastic. Well, it just is like, yoink, out. I don't think that's true. Yeah, right? Because <laughs> you actually know what the, let me be oblivious, please. Ignorance is bliss in my okay, mind right now. <laughs> okay, you just go ahead. You can believe that. You Let go me. ahead. Okay, don't but, wake me um, from this dream. but don't like tell your doctor that you heard it here and you think that's true. I know I, it's I, not. I, I just don't want to. I it. hope it never catches up with you. I and I'm not being like Debbie Downer. I mean, I guess I believe that you should put good nutrients in your body and yeah. I don't think fast food necessarily has it. Right. That said, I also get that life is short and if you enjoy things, like you should just do them. Right, and we're not promised all, tomorrow. It's all a balance And you sure. know, I, I feel like even just today, knowing this one recipe will put me on kind of like that track where I'm like, I cooked this with Terry. Like I know how to do this one. If we're making dinner, I'll make it because I got the recipe. And you know, it's just like, I need more recipes like that. We'll wait till we get to the lentil soup. Oh my God, we, we haven't even started the <laughs> Soup. No, we haven't started this. Okay, thing. yeah. Okay, um, we do okay. have a long day. Let's let's do the kale and we'll finish this thing up. So we have boiling salted water. So we're gonna use a timer. We'll do four minutes. Okay. And I think we should do this in two batches because I just feel like uh, it's gonna be too. Should much. I start now? Um yeah, we're gonna put that in there. Alright, well we can drink while we're waiting. Oh yeah, cheers. We sort of started to tell people that we met over Instagram. Yes. I don't really even know how to use it that well. And, you know, I mean, I'm it changes so, every day. I'm so behind on the whole social media thing. I don't really go into those DMs. Like, I don't I don't even know. I was shocked I, that you did. Because really, I was yeah. like, she probably gets so many. You're like the first person I've ever responded to, I think. <laughs> it's an honor, like, people. I don't know. And then what happened was I went and saw your video. Yeah. When you, when you DM'd me that back, I was like. Was. I went and saw your video and I was so touched. You just that was seemed so like sweet, what you such said. a beautiful human being. So I wrote you back. And then that's when she said she didn't, you know, she wanted to come cook with me. And yeah. I was like, what? You yeah. want to come cook with me? I had no idea. I was like, oh my God, look at this YouTube channel. She has this passion for cooking. I would have never thought so. Oh. And I was just like, if I can, you know, reach out and get a response, that'd be great. Oh. And then here we are. Yeah, it was so cool. Yeah. I just, well, I, huge fan. I mean, I, I honestly don't really do that a lot because I just 
think people won't respond or whatever, but I feel like I just loved your energy. Oh. Like, I just love that you, like, put care and time into your food, and you just, like, always have a smile on your face Aww. and super warm and inviting. Thank I was like, you. I'm just going to try. Well, I'm at that stage in my life where I love 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 meeting new people can't get enough i can't get enough yeah. and i don't know if it really amped up with the whole trump era or whatever oh, but yeah. i just felt like the anxiety and um i just want to like connect with people yeah and that's why i do my van therapy show where oh, i drive I around that. and just is that in the driveway that's the one i in knew the it driveway. the scooby-doo <laughs> yes yeah. that's it so cute. That's it. Well, that'll be our next thing. We'll I'm do. so down. I um, want to get in that van now. Um, okay. <laughs> um, okay. How are we doing on time? One twenty. Uh, okay. Good. Let's we'll stir it around a little bit more. Um, so they stay like floppy like that. Yeah. Like, and spaghetti. and that's that's the thing. They'll get sort of like you could almost twirl it with a fork the way Ooh. you would spaghetti, and that's why it's kind of such a great mimicking. My sister's thing. gonna die for this. Try that and tell me what, if you think it's done enough. Okay. I feel like it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is going in. Why don't we do this one for... Four or five? Yeah, four. Let's, well, I was going to say five. And let's drink more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cheers. I'm beating uh, you. Oh, you're beating me. Okay. <laughs> Us cheersing every single time we take a sip. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Like it's the first time. Every single time. I was just about to say, our producer, Aaron, was, when you were out uh, out in a break, said that it seemed like we'd been friends for a long time. And I, I sort feel of too. feel that way. Yeah, me too. I feel like Isn't maybe that that's weird? why I felt comfortable reaching out. I know this is probably something you hear all the time, but even watching you on like Desperate Housewives, mm -hmm. I was like, I like her. And then I saw you did YouTube and I was like, Cooking? I don't know how to cook. I'm just gonna try. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. I mean, that's probably why you have so many followers because people are inspired by you because that is an amazing quality to just get out there. Yeah, just throw and, it. And do your life. And I feel like also, like in the industry that we're in, we hear no so many times, rejection is like a big yeah. thing. Yeah. And I feel like just, you know, learning to overcome that and just saying like, F it, yeah. I'm not gonna be no today, I'm gonna yeah. be yes. And even if I'm no, like whatever next. I definitely um, am absorbing my GG-ness. <laughs> okay, so I'm turning that off. This is done. We um, have all the parts to put this together. We are gonna get the meatballs out of the oven. Okay, this is super hot. So Learning. don't touch it, don't burn yourself. Thank you for getting that oven door. They yeah. look fab. Oh my God, okay. they smell so good. The way I would plate this up is, see how these ended up being kind of like noodles? Yeah. So I sort of like to oh, do, cute. you know, sort little of spiral. fancy little spirally thing. Then we were gonna check this. 165, 170. Okay, perfect. We're oh, gonna, they look we're amazing. Gonna do, we're gonna do the gluten-free ones. Okay. So I think it's a good idea to plate these in threes. It looks so that, chic already. That's how I would do it. And then if you wanna eat more later, you can. That looks like a pretty amazing rustic tomato sauce the way it is. Hell yes. Some people might like that to be all more like a pureed tomato soup. But I think maybe we won't do that. I and think we'll a little go chunk with, is with yummy. The rusticness of yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Ladle that on top. Oh yes. Do you think that this deserves to have Parmesan cheese on top? Because I think maybe it does. I think maybe it does too. Okay. Is it for us? Yeah. Okay, well, it's okay, for okay. Nats or well, it's for whoever. Does she do cheese? No, she doesn't do cheese. Oh, she doesn't do mm -hmm. cheese. Should we pull her in here? Yeah. Yeah. I'll go yeah. grab, grab her. She's gonna die. Dinner's uh, ready. Yummy. You're gonna be the sucker. Oh, okay. Yes, and it's really hot. Okay. So what we've got here is we've got the kale. This is what it looks like. These are like kale strips. Kale spaghetti. Kale yeah. spaghetti. <laughs> you just were pulled with, on set real quick. With <laughs> <laughs> turkey meatballs that have goat cheese in them and no uh, breadcrumbs, so no, no gluten. No gluten. And, and these are the ones that I rolled myself. And I yeah, get so you should into just get into it. it. I'm sitting here going like, so let me tell you how to eat it. Just don't yeah. burn your, like you're five. <laughs> right, 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 you know, right. Blow on it and don't <laughs> burn yourself. And this is like the first it's little moment I've had. Oh my God. It's good. Mm -hmm. Can I try? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm all curious. It's actually amazing with the kale. That's crazy. Really? Mm -hmm. Isn't it great? Mm. That's it, like insane. Did it kind of gives you like a sense of pasta, right? Yeah, but like better because like I love salad. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, I put like bolognese sauce over like broccoli. So this is kind of a better version. I will of that. say the meatballs are a little dry. Okay. But I like it with the pasta sauce, it's everything. everything. Do you want to try one of the other meatballs just to see? Yeah, like, should the we? Difference? Okay. That one has a little bit of breadcrumbs in it, but I want you to try it just because if it answered the dry thing. And they, if they if they are still. Mm -mm. Not dry. Mm -mm. At all. Really? At all. Because we could have overcooked them a little bit. If the, if the temperature thing went up to 170, it means maybe we were drinking too much champagne. Right. <laughs> we're, 
<laughs> we were too distracted. <laughs> well, I'm super curious for you to do them that way. Maybe try it one round with a tablespoon or so of rice flour. Oh yeah, and definitely with and, the rice flour. And maybe just cook it a little bit less, you know, a little bit less time. So we did like 10 minutes, but we were chatting. So maybe it went over, but it's it should technically be 10 minutes on the stove and 10 minutes in the oven. And that yeah. should get you to about 165. Do you want to take the plate yeah. away? Okay. Yeah, go finish That it. little one there has gluten, the gluten, but the rest of it doesn't. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, yeah, you. Thank you for being our guinea pig. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so there you have it. We got through it. I'm we got like through stunned. Oh, I we, love I love this recipe. Oh, amazing. So we got through turkey uh, meatballs with goat cheese and kale and tomato sauce. If you liked that or you liked her or you liked her and I together, subscribe to my channel and tune in for other videos that she might be in. You yes. never know. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking with, what is it, TG? What's our names together? TG. TG? I like TG. TG. I like TG or TG. 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 Cheers. <laughs>